kind of tastes like a nice bath bomb. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. It is extremely hot. I've gone for the old Pamela Aniston bun today because I'm being kind of lazy and I literally just wrapped up a vlog so I'm being super lazy and doing like a double dip today. <laughs> double dip. <laughs> today we are going to be going to the kind of like where the bars are, maybe the pier. I'm hoping things will be open. I think it's coming up to two o'clock. So I'm really hoping everything will be open because it's a Sunday and everything shuts so early on a Sunday here. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'm really excited. Yesterday we went to the beach and just had such a nice chill that day on the beach. It was amazing. And the weather is gorgeous. So we're gonna go to the kind of where the bars are today. There's like a little food festival and maybe go to the arcade if we can. So I'm gonna vlog it for you guys and take you along with me. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't checked out my kind of vlog go and check that out first and yeah let's uh let's go what is up guys we are heading to the bar because <laughs> i saw <laughs> food festival as well yeah, yeah i mean there might be food but i saw like these little flamingo floaty drinks yesterday and i really want one also the light is so bright right now that i look like a ghost but yeah we're gonna go to the food festival first, I think that will shut early and then hopefully the pier stays open. I mean, I hope it does, but it's a Sunday, so we'll see. We should have done this yesterday, mm. but we went to the gym instead and then went to the beach. I don't know. Athlete life. You guys can see me right now but we just went to the arcade which was really fun and we spent quite a bit of time on a machine that we know is a scam and yet we just stayed there Still 95 percent accuracy yeah we picked it up every time and just dropped it we had a little walk around and then we decided we're gonna go down to the gun wharf which is i think maybe the nicest area like the beach stuff is nice but the gun wharf is a bit more it's very well built a little yeah. bit french here yeah so we're gonna go for something because i said like i want to eat but i don't want like oh that's, i hope that opens while we still yeah. live here that's where that steak place was that i always wanted to go to it looked really good it was always packed right <laughs> yeah you go on anymore like sit down and have an actual nice bit of food so we're gonna go down to the gun wharf and go to a restaurant there and then i'm gonna go to the cinema and see thor because we we're actually gonna see that when i got back but obviously my i had to get the flight the next day and i just felt all just, you know flustered we ended up doing something else and it was also really hot so we didn't want to sit in the cinema whereas i feel like now we're gonna go for food and some drinks whilst it's nice and sunny and then a little bit later in the evening when it's cooled down so you're not, there's no sun but it's hot we're gonna sit in the aircon cinema and have some nachos and cheese and see thor because he's really sexy isn't he danny huh? so we have got our little wagon mamas we have more coming don't worry but <laughs> it looks good Okay, so we are heading off to the cinema now, see Thor. We just went for a few drinks at Old Bar One, which was, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I've sold in Danny's jacket. But yeah, we're gonna head off and see Thor. I'm so excited. I'm also very excited for the nachos. Good morning, everyone. It's your favorite alien. I wanted to quickly start this vlog. I do not have a lot of time I need to go. But I'm heading off today for my first nail set. I'm so excited. I got up at four this morning, it's six now. I'm just going to do my glam, do my hair. Um, I'm driving to Brighton now, which is going to be about an hour. I've given myself basically 50 minutes 
extra time because obviously I like to be super super early just in case there's traffic or parking issues or anything like that so I'm gonna head off now I'm gonna grab my little iced coffee we've actually oh, it's so dark in here this isn't even worth doing oh um, I already had my focus on me yeah so I already had my bulk collagen coffee this morning which has protein in it collagen in it and obviously caffeine and then I just grabbed this yesterday and then Dan ends up getting me a different one. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll use this for today. So I'm gonna take this with me because it's super hot at the moment. So this would be nice to have in the car. And I've got a massive bottle of water. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave my rollers until I get there. They take like two minutes to pull out and just feel like my hair's gonna look more together. I'm actually gonna put this with hairspray, but I'm gonna put the Uber now to my car. If you're new here, basically, I cannot park my car outside my home because it won't give me a permit and it's my car. I love that for me. So I have to get an Uber to my car, which is always just a fun bit of extra money to spend and extra time to spend. So, I'm gonna head off now. I'll try and like get some bits there if I can because we're allowed to do some social media stuff because obviously it's an independent project. So we really wanna get it out there because it's such an amazing cast and such an amazing project. So if I can, I will try to vlog some stuff, but if not, I'll film when I'm home, I'll fill you guys in, but let's go, I can't believe it. I can't leave but I really don't care. I mean, I went to bed early, but I just couldn't sleep because I was so excited and just watching TV because, yeah. Excitement. So we are just on set. We just did costume. Hey guys. Plug yourself, plug your Instagram. Uh, my name's Daniel. Find me at Daniel underscore Wilmore on Instagram. Get into it. <laughs> um, yeah, we just got into our costumes, worked everything out. We got the best outfit. We did, we got first pick. Naturally. But yeah, <laughs> it's also so hot right now, but I feel like the lighting's either gonna be really nice or yeah. disgusting. Or right we're now. gonna look really really awful yeah <laughs> we'll see Am I gonna do this entire vlog in rollers? Perhaps. Guys, I'm quickly checking on this vlog. I'm actually just going to do my showreel today and then I have a meeting with an agent. So a ton of exciting stuff has happened today. It's a really big day for me, but I wanted to come and quickly check in with you guys and see how you are. Sorry, this vlog has been a bit all over the place, but obviously I just wanted to, I feel like it's cool to kind of document the little bits, you know? So even though I'm not really filming there because obviously it's set, I just wanted to kind of document before and after a little bit. But yeah, I've got my rollers in. It's about half an hour drive, but it could be an hour. So giving myself time. I can't find my car key, so don't even. Let's go. Good morning. So welcome back to the vlog. It's been a minute since I vlogged. So last time I checked in with you guys was just before I went to go film my showreel, which went really well. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It was just such an amazing experience. And I'm just so excited about this, like, chapter of my life and all the things I'm exploring and learning and I'm just really really excited and I'm excited mostly to share it with you guys too because I've been working hard on a lot of stuff too that like I haven't really vlogged just because I don't know it feels weird to vlog it and like some of it I can't vlog and some of it's just like me working on my laptop or taking classes so I haven't really vlogged it too much but yeah there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and I'm really excited for you guys to kind of start to see some of like the finished product so to speak can anything ever really be finished i don't really know today we're actually going out because it is my mother's birthday so this is my little outfit i'll kind of show you it in the mirror in a second so you guys can see like the full look i just put like a few loose curls in and gave it a bit of volume it's a super hot day today so i didn't really go for like full full glam i went to do like a purple eyeshadow and i have to be honest i'm really not liking how it looks normally i love purple eyeshadow but it was a different palette and i absolutely hated how it looked like it looks so heavy at this stage i'm so over heavy makeup like i don't like it anymore so it's, i think it's just because it's like summer and like the lighting is so light i feel like heavy makeup looks absolutely awful so we are heading out to london soon and then i think we're going to go for some drinks later so i'll vlog some of that for you guys because i'm excited for you guys to see it and also if you haven't followed me on instagram and tiktok go and check those out it's mariah makes on everything because i've been making a lot more tiktoks and reels like i'm still doing my vlogs but sometimes it's literally just easier like when you're on the go and you're running to just quickly do that and also with other people like for example canada everyone was doing reels so it's just easier to do that but yeah if you haven't followed me go check that out i'll show you guys my outfit too oh it's just this cute little two piece this is actually from primark what a bargain this is from river island i found this little necklace i had in my suitcase i've never worn before i want to say this was pretty little thing i'm just gonna wear my sunglasses my little bag and i've got like white booties on i don't know if you guys can see them <laughs> i'm gonna sit i haven't actually even eaten today which is very unlike me because normally food is like my first priority can i put this here and like Patch. I haven't eaten yet today because I kind of overslept past my alarm. 
and sacrifice food. I'm actually already really early though, so I'm gonna go and have some food now, even though we're going for afternoon tea. I'm gonna have like a little bit of food now because I'm so hungry. But yeah, it's been like a pretty productive week for me. I've been really, really exhausted for some reason. I don't know if it's the heat or what. It's been a productive week. I got my show reel done. I had a really exciting call with my agent. I've hopefully got something else in terms of like a big project plan. So when that's sort of set in stone, it will all be revealed. And of course I'll tell you guys all about it. But yeah, it's looking to be a really exciting kind of second half of the year. Of course, it is my birthday next week. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I think I have a, a work project on before, like a filming thing before. It's not confirmed yet. And then I would literally have to drive home. So my birthday is the 4th of August. So I'd have to drive home really late on the 3rd, which is at the moment what I'm planning to do, but I haven't had confirmation of stuff yet. So kind of seeing how that goes. I haven't planned anything just yet. I don't really care to do anything too crazy for my birthday. I know that sounds really weird. I'm just not excited for it this year. I feel like nearer the time I will be, but I feel like at the moment, cause I'm not at home, obviously I'm staying at my parents and I've been doing work stuff. Like I don't feel, how do I explain? Like I just don't feel in the zone, if that makes sense. Like I don't, you know, I'm so busy with other stuff. That it's almost like my birthday is like too soon. Like I need like a couple of days and then I can have my birthday if that makes sense. But yeah, we'll see how it is closer to the time. I think I might include it in this vlog. I can't remember when I started this vlog, um, but I might as well include it, I think. I'll go ahead. You know, I've done a 40, 50 minute vlog before. It'll never hurt. And then also tonight I do have my Icon collection launching. So it's a brand new 8x10 set, but these are the super exclusive ones because I did it once before as like a little test and everyone loved it. I'm just going to do like exclusive sets moving forward because it's so much like more like, you know, cool. <laughs> I am gonna go and film some Instagram reels, mm, content creating, and then I'm gonna go eat and I will check in with you guys when we get to London and I'll show you some of the afternoon tea, hopefully. I always love vlogging in front of my family because no matter how much I do it, they're like, <laughs> in a little bit. Like, where are we going? We're going to a train. To train. Is it that way? No, it's this way, we have to wait for mommy. Well, it is super bright. We might miss our train. <laughs> We've started off strong. I've worn heel boots, feel like I made a mistake. So we made it, Blake, where are we? On a train. train. Pull the top off. Okay. Take the top off, or you can just go in from the top. Do you guys not think this looks like a Pokemon? It's a Pokemon ball. You got to share that, you know. I'm sharing it. Should we try a bit? Do, you, do they give us spoons, or are we just? Because you're supposed to eat the scones first. I want the scones. I want the Pokemon. Ooh. That's actually really nice. It kind of tastes like a nice bath bomb. Come on. Blake, what are you doing? I'm getting my nails done. More glitter, more glitter. <laughs> more glitter. We're gonna go now and get some drinks and hopefully some food. I know that we literally just ate, but I'm hungry again. I got back, Ooh. I released my. <laughs> Oh, give me some. Thanks, baby. Oh, yeah, put some on me. I love the smell of that one. I know I literally just ate, but we got back. I released my merch and watched a tiny bit of um, Endgame. And then they're like, we're going, we're going, we're going. So I'm just going to put a bit of lip gloss on. I'm not going to take my camera because honestly, like, I don't really feel like there's that much to film. Blake's been absolutely keeping me on my toes today, beating me up. So <laughs> it's been an eventful day. But yeah, I'm, I'm super hungry. So I'm going to grab the food and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. So I know this vlog has been a little bit all over the place. Now that I'm finally back home, I wanted to sit and talk with you guys a little bit about what a crazy like week or so it has been. I've tried basically as much as possible to vlog things and if I can't vlog it, I try to get like a reel or a picture or something for you guys because as you know, I love sharing everything I'm doing with you and recently in the past sort of like three months i've been doing a lot of different stuff and i just want to share that with you guys i've actually just done my little birthday shoot hence the outfit right now i had gloves on they were really fun too i loved those it was just so like glam and cute i loved it yeah, that's the reason for the outfit this was actually an early birthday present from a friend so 
It's Tiffany's and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna keep this on forever. But the dress I'm probably gonna change because I'm actually doing my birthday stream later. So every year on Twitch, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash X. I do a birthday stream on the 3rd of August until midnight and my birthday's on the 4th. So I kind of go into my birthday with all of my amazing like housemates. So that's what I'm gonna be doing later. And I'm probably not gonna be wearing this like doll's kill corset dress because that would be kind of uncomfortable. But yeah, and no, it was a really crazy week and it culminated with us a drive. So we drove to a show, drove back to my parents, drove all the way from my parents to Portsmouth, which is like an hour and 40, realized we didn't have the apartment keys, had to dr drive back to my parents, then drive all the way back. And this was like, we didn't go home till like 3 a.m. So I didn't really vlog that day because your girl was behind the wheel for most of it. But it was an amazing week. Like I got my showreel filmed, I did an audition. Obviously I can't really like, you know, show you too much of that, but you will get to see the showreel at least. I'm excited for that. And yeah, it was my mom's birthday. So we went for a really nice tea and stuff like that. So it was really good. It was a nice week. I kind of relaxed a little bit. Like I worked out, I went to the sauna, which was really nice. Um, and then just like chill, try to do some work. I kept falling asleep so early. I don't even know why. I'm all home now. So my birthday's tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. But before I close off this vlog, because I'm not sure how much is in this vlog, I actually slightly think it's going to be quite long because I can't remember when I started it. So I feel like it's going to be really long. However, I am going to give you guys a little haul of some bits that I bought recently and some packages that came whilst I was away because I thought it would be just a nice way to wrap up the vlog. And just in case the vlog is literally me and my rollers going, hi guys, bye guys, like five times. I wanted to have something at the end of the vlog for you guys to actually enjoy. And I really fancy a cup of tea right now. Isn't that weird? That is not a hint. Like it stands in the room. That sounds like such a hint. It's not. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys that. And then in the next vlog, it's actually going to be my birthday. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm umming and ahhing about opening my presents on vlog. I don't know. Like I like to share literally everything, but I always get weird about presents. Like I don't know. So um, I'm going to get back to you on that one, but I'm definitely going to be vlogging my birthday with you. And I'll be showing you what my amazing fans have sent me. Like my Twitch viewers have sent me like little gifts. I think a lot of them are like little like animal crossing bits and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to show you. So next stream next stream next video i'm going to be showing you guys like we'll do my birthday day out because we're going out for the day going for food going like i say we're going to the shops i have no intention of buying anything i just i want to go to southampton for the day because i live in portsmouth and with all the driving i've done recently like i cannot be bothered to go back to london just for a day so we plan like a nice day out in southampton we're going for a lunch we're going for a dinner I'm just going to mosey around the shops and have a little look around i'm going to check if there's anything else to do i want to go and have like some nice coffees or a bar or just you know what i mean like it's for me i'm so 100% fast paced all the time just to have a day off and just like mosey around is a birthday like that's what I wanted to do like I always like I know you guys are like why are you not going to sexy fish I always go to sexy fish but the idea of like going all the way back to London I, I just can't be bothered right now like I go all the time for work so I just like love the idea of just like a nice chill day out and hopefully we get good weather I don't want it to be like scorching because I'll be sweaty and gross and I'm gonna vlog so I don't want to look gross like right now I'm sweating um so i don't want to be scorching but i hope it's a, a nice sunny day but yeah i was having a nice little day on southampton i haven't i don't think i've been to southampton but to like russell and stuff i don't think i've actually been and just like moseyed around there's like a a nice street there with like shops and restaurants and cafes and bars so i'm just gonna just have a little mosey but anyway let's get back to this vlog but that will be in the next one so if you're not subscribed make sure you do i'm just gonna go ahead and show you some of the stuff i've got some of this i got yesterday and some of this i actually got um just before i went away or went away went to london for a week or just like it came well some away and also i do want to start with these actually so funnily enough yesterday i actually went to the shop and bought these from primark such a bargain one pound fifty three pound fifty you get literally so much with it obviously i doubt it has like the longevity of like proper jewelry but i really don't often wear proper jewelry just because i'm so panicked about it like getting damaged or anything like that and like i have to say since i've moved i've been really off my game with my jewelry because i don't really know exactly where it is it's just not hung up properly and i just haven't got room for it but i just grabbed these for a shoot because i don't know what i have and i sent it to my friend and they're like i think you should open your birthday present because they actually got me this from tiffany's which is so nice and like when i saw the box i was like i've never seen a tiffany's box this big like what tiffany's so that's kind of crazy but i do have these from primark which i feel like are nice just for like, I don't really feel like I'll wear this. Um, I said I'm never going to take it off. I'm definitely going to take it off and not wear it anywhere, like, where I feel like I might, like, lose it or do you know what I mean? But I love this sort of stuff. This is very glamorous and it's such a bargain from Primark. So that's just perfect for just, like, accessorizing. I did the most amazing little Primark haul before I went, so I'm really excited to show you. 
So they had like a new line in and hopefully I get this video edited out and in time for you guys to go and see it. Primark had the cutest like pinks and purples and like silky stuff and mesh just so much cutesy little stuff in the first thing i got was this denim skirt which is a little bit different for me because it's kind of like pleated but i just i know it's a bit different but i just feel like on it's gonna look so cute so this was 13 pounds for denim 13 pounds like that is literally such a bargain. I like that you can kind of see like the pockets and it's like kind of like that frayed look. It is a little bit creased because I put this all on a big Primark bag and bog, bog, in a big Primark bag and put it to the side and stack some stuff on top of it to like show you guys. And so everything's got a bit squished, but yeah, super cute for the summer. I mean, it's so much use out of it. And the next thing I got were these pink kind of like, I don't know what you call these. Like just kind of like not flares but i went for a size six now these were 17 which for primark is definitely way pricier but obviously they are like long trousers and they're like this kind of fake silk material but i just thought they were gorgeous they're a bit more of like i don't want to say luxury because i don't know if that's the correct word but like i feel like in primark you've got stuff that's just like super bargains like five pounds and then you have their more bougie stuff which is normally like their new in stuff if i go back in like a week and it's on sale i'm gonna cry got this really cute little top i just thought it was really nice a lot of my tops are so washed just from like wearing them to the gym and constantly washing them and i really i don't need new t-shirts but i'm getting rid of some so i thought hey i'll replace it just grab this so this was 11 pound which actually looking at it i think is a bit overpriced for just what it is because the material isn't like special like those it's just like kind of a basic like i don't know what you'd call this just like sort of jersey material i just liked it i thought it was just like a really nice little simple pastel colored skirt i have a lot of like lilacs and pinks and like blues and stuff so that color for me is great i grabbed this this was only seven pounds again i'm gutted that this stuff is so creased it's a steam literally all of it so i went for a size small which is a 10 to 12 which i think is going to be a little bit big because i don't know i just feel like in a primark i'm normally an eight in tops i'm i go for a 10 but in primark i stick with an eight i don't know if this stuff comes up a little bit big but that's my experience with it however because of like the style of the top how it's open i'm gonna use this more as like layering so with it being slightly bigger i don't think it's going to be an issue the only thing i need to make sure is obviously that the girls are you know covered but whatever and then the next thing i got is one of my favorite bits because i absolutely love butterflies and this was only six pounds six pounds this is crazy i thought that this would look quite nice with the skirt but obviously it could go with so much different stuff and then the cup is actually lined like i know the rest is see-through but this cup is lined so if you don't want to wear a bra you don't have to i probably will just because i don't know security but um yeah you don't even have to wear a bra so it's perfect and then I also got this, and you guys are gonna be like, Mariah, you're an absolute freak. But I got this, and I know it's for bridal, but I thought I could do like a really cool shoot with it. Because of like the beads, kind of close up. I don't know, I have all these ideas for shoots. And then I just never get around to properly doing them, which I need to be way better at. But whatever, we move, we move. And then I also got these from the Kylie collection. It's the two Kylie um balms i just wanted to try i haven't actually tried them yet because i was waiting to show you guys but i'll give you a little update when i use them i'll do a little youtube video i'll tell you guys about them in one of my vlogs but i just got these two and the delivery driver just absolutely never delivers it to my home it takes it to the camping shop i have to go in every day and he's it's always a kylie parcel and he's like yeah yeah so we've got that got that going on and then i just got this from dolls co i actually got a really nice travel bag which I don't know if I showed you in this vlog. If not, I'll show you in the next vlog because it's no way. I can't reach it right now. Like, I don't know where it is. So, and I'm not moving. I'm very comfy on this little cushion. So, I got this really cute skirt, which is so Dream Dolls because it's pink and lilac with the bows. Like, this is the most Mariah and Zoe thing I've ever seen in my life. Dolls Kill skirts do come up super short, just like a heads up if you want to order from there. A lot of their skirts are like mini skirts, like mini, mini, mini skirts. Um, but I love them. I like that because like I want to shelve my legs, but um, yeah, it's super short. Okay, so I actually went to Primark yesterday to grab a few bits for the shoot. So you saw those necklaces at the start. I also got this bow. I have a purple one in right now. This bow was two pounds. I'm so glad because I was in H&M and they had like a really nice like cream linen one, but it was like six quid. And I was like, I know I'm not really gonna wear them that much because with hair accessories, I buy them and I never wear them. Like for me right now, not that I'm hating my look right now because I did it for the shoot, but I like, this isn't me. I like just like bouncy curls and just like to go like this. So 
I didn't really, I was like six pounds for a ribbon to go in my hair that I'm probably gonna wear once if I choose to wear it because I wasn't even sure what I was gonna do and I just went for it. And I went to Primark and they had ribbons for way cheaper so I got two. So yeah, and still didn't spend as much. And then in H&M I got this really nice little khaki kind of silky top. So it's completely like open in the middle. Obviously you can tie the bottom up and make it come together tighter. I went for an extra small, it's an extra small or a large, so I went for the extra small. Ideally, I would have rather have got a small, but I think an extra small is gonna work for me. They also had the pants, and Danny was like, are you sure you want them? Because I was like, I'm in an R-ring. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I'd rather wear the top with like a nice leather skirt or something, or even like jean shorts. So I swapped. This was a bit out there, but it was on sale. This was literally four pounds, and it's just a bucket hat that says Angelic, which thought it would be nice for the beach on the holiday that I'm not going on. I grabbed that and then last of all I got this jumper from H&M again and this was 17 so obviously H&M is more expensive and honestly I wasn't going to get this jumper like I looked at it and I was like no and I was like you know what I kept thinking about it so I went and got it and I was just like I'm going to treat myself because a lot of my jumpers too have gone horrible I don't know why like me and Danny can't figure it out if it's like this wash because we obviously we moved like into our own apartment but like if it's the washing machine or we don't have a tumble dryer or like what it is, like we use fabric softener, we wash it on the correct setting, but quite a few of like my little jumpers and things like that have gone just like really horrible. Like they still look okay, but like they feel horrible. And the point of wearing like a jumper is to be comfy. So yeah, I've like lost a few, not, not lost, I mean still have them, but I never wear them. Like sometimes I put on certain joggers I have and stuff and I'm like, oh my God, it actually feels like sandpaper. Like I just don't want to wear them, so super annoying i'm trying to figure out if i can show you any of this so i did an order from pretty little thing but it's for a shoot and i'm like did i get anything normal or did i just get shoot stuff because i don't want to show you guys the shoot stuff anymore because i want you to like see the finished result What's this? this might be okay to show you no yes yes i can show you this okay got this really cute little corset top what size did i go for because why does it look absolutely ginormous no i went for an eight it's from pretty little thing which does size up big but i'm hoping me and the girls will make it work it's just like this zip up corset and it's like this lovely rose gold color and i'm really impressed with that material and then i also just got this and again this looks kind of big but i think it will be okay on what size is this this is an eight again yeah well this one actually no to be fair this one comes together at the back but it's just this really cute little pink corset and now i'm wondering do i want to wear one of those tomorrow for my birthday i'm really glad that we did this because now i'm like do i want to wear that because tomorrow like i obviously want to look birthday cute however i'm like walking around it's like a day out but then we're going for a dinner too so i want to be like kind of smart casual but like also comfy but then a lot of the clothes i have are like white and rose gold but then like i'm not going to want to wear rose gold because like I always want to wear rose gold. I'm not going to want to wear white because if I spill something, that's for the rest of the day, it's going to look horrible. Um, so that's my current crisis that I'm dealing with. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you guys will see in the next video what I do decide to wear for my birthday. I have a few ideas. I just need to decide properly so i'm just gonna decide in the morning i know that sounds like a recipe for disaster but i'm going for it fuck it all right guys i'm gonna wrap the vlog up here thank you so much for watching again i do apologize for it being a bit all over the shop but obviously with a lot of the acting stuff like i can't actually show you the day like i could show you the before i could show you the after and then some stuff i'm working on is like a secret so i could only show you like little previews but i figured you know a little something is better than nothing but yeah thank you for watching if you have any questions go ahead and comment them down below i'm very excited for my birthday today i actually got to eat i'm gonna film another youtube video and then i'm gonna eat and i'm gonna relax a little bit before my stream and prepare some stuff for tomorrow like some photo sets and whatnot but yeah i'm very excited for my birthday 24 I'm getting old <laughs> <laughs> See you guys all very soon. As always, thank you for the love and support. Bye.